and welcome everyone. So today's video has been requested quite a few times recently and that is that I show you my entire belt collection. I have talked about my belts before, I love belts, I pretty much wear a belt every single day, sometimes I even like to wear two or three belts and most of the belts that I have are originally from the 60s or 70s or they at least look a lot like belts did back then. So these are all of my belts. I have them on this hanger thing that is actually pretty heavy. I don't really have an order or anything, so I'm just gonna start by showing you the first belt. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about every single belt I own. Starting out with this one. This one is a classic 60s chain belt. It has kind of really big, flat, silver circles. Belts like these were really popular with space age fashion, but also with just classic mod fashion. And so I think this one is great for like a 60s London look. I got this one at a thrift store it was such a lucky find and what I recommend you to do if you're looking for a chain belt is to make sure to check the necklace section because I have quite a few chain belts and some of them I found in the necklace section because sometimes workers at thrift stores just don't really know if it's a belt or a necklace so always make sure to check the necklace section too and also sometimes you'll find necklaces that actually work really well as belts like this one for example I got this one on eBay this is an original 60s item however it was a necklace but I just added this one with like the big clasp right here to it to turn it into a belt so depending on how long necklaces are you can use them really well as chain belts Moving on with this beautiful belt, got this one at a thrift store too. This one was really inexpensive. As you can see, it's kind of like that crocheted, knitted sort of belt that works perfect for a hippie look. What I really love about this one is all the tassels that it has in the end. I kind of like to tie it and then have this hang down to my legs. I think it's a really cool look. This one reminds me a lot of Janis Joplin too and it's great for like a Woodstock festival hippie look. Moving on with this one. This one might be my favorite belt, or at least it's my most worn belt because it's such a staple piece. This one is from the 60s originally. It has the classic square buckle. Square buckles were really popular in the 60s, especially square ones and circular ones were a big trend. What I really love about this belt is the thick leather. It's just a really doable belt. And what I try to look for in belts is that if I use the smallest hole, it'll work on my waist. But then if I use the biggest hole, it can fit around my hips because sometimes I like to wear belts around my waist and then I like to wear them around my hips. And if that's not the case, you can just get a hole puncher like one of these little belt punchers and just add another hole or you could just use a nail and a hammer I've definitely done that before and just hammer through it if it's real leather it'll work really well moving on with this belt this one is fairly new I got it a few months ago I love this one so much it's like a cow skin it even has the fur still attached to it if you've been on my channel for a while you know that I live vegan I want to say this in every video because it's just really important for me I would never buy a new leather or fur products, however, this one is vintage and I feel like if you get things from the thrift store, it's the most sustainable piece of clothing that you can have. So I got this belt and I think it's incredible, like the, the cow skin just looks so so good, the white stitching and then I also love the way that the buckle looks in the front. This one is also really heavy, especially the metalwork, which always is a good sign to show you that the belt is really high quality. Moving on with this one. This one reminds me a lot of Jim Morrison of the Doors. As you can see, it has like all these little metal compartments and then just a circular buckle right here and you tie it. This one is so beautiful. I love this one for layering and it's just such a unique piece. It's great for like an androgynous look. I love to wear this with leather. It is really heavy because it's metal, but I don't really mind it. And this one was really inexpensive too. Next up is this beautiful dark brown one that has the coolest buckle. I love belts with big buckles. It was a big trend in the late 60s or pretty much throughout all the 60s and 70s. This one also reminds me a lot of George Harrison and I just really like interesting buckles. Just like the belt that I showed you before, I got this one in the man's section, which is another big tip that I have. Check out the man's section, sometimes they get mixed up. And honestly, I don't mind wearing a man's belt. As long as it fits, it works. Or you could just add some more holes like I did with this one. This one is so, so cool. As you can see, it's like a very nice shade of brown leather and then it has these black details. And I love to wear this one with flared jeans. So I've been looking for a big white belt for such a long time. I've had a classic small white belt, which I'm gonna show you later, but I wanted to get a big one with a really cool buckle. And then I found this one that is kind of like Nordic 
themed like the buckle kind of looks like an anchor and i think this one is so so cool it's as said really thick and i just love to wear this one i think it's great for like a more dreamier look but then it can also be really edgy and this one really reminds me of debbie harry for some reason this belt has such a special place in my heart i got it while i was on holiday and i just love this one so so much it's a thick suede leather belt as you can see it kind of has a really interesting clasp because it has these two things right here and then you just poke them through the holes right here i personally like to poke it like this so that it kind of layers down like that but it's just a personal preference this one is so so soft i love the gold metal work it's such a beautiful belt this one works with so many different looks it's a thick leather and there's not a lot to say about it other than this one being one of my favorite belts. Moving on with this belt. The other day someone actually tagged me in their Instagram story because they found a belt just like that at their local thrift store and they said that these belts reminded them so much of me which is a big compliment so thank you to you. I love these kind of belts that have different pieces. These were really popular in the late 60s and 70s. It has a big metal buckle right here and then what I really like about this one is that you can close it at whichever length you like and then you have this little part kind of hanging down which looks really really cool and I just love the metal detailing on this one. Because I love that white belt that I just showed you so much I was so excited when I saw this one at a thrift store. This one is pretty much the same idea except that it's not quite as big and it's not circular but more of like an oval shape love this one too i think the buckle is so so cool this one actually is a little bit broken right here it was broken like that when i got it a lot of the times you will get belts that kind of have a little bit of usage to them so you can kind of see that someone wore them before i personally don't really mind it i feel like if you wear it you can't really tell it and i don't really mind if my clothes kind of look a little bit more worn if you mind it though just check for the belts however in my experience they're really inexpensive if the tiniest little thing about them looks a little broken and usually a lot of these things are actually easy fixes. Moving on with this belt. This one is just a really classic black leather belt that you kind of close like this and the beautiful and amazing thing about this is this wonderful clasp that it has. As you can see this material is so so beautiful. It's a really expensive material if you get it new. It's so so beautiful. I love the kind of like shiny details. This one is also great for layering and it's just such an interesting and unique piece. And this one also reminds me a lot of Jim Morrison. Moving on with this belt that is just this beautiful light beige color. I love this one because I actually have a leather jacket. Pretty much the same exact shade. This one also has such a cool buckle. It's just a square buckle and then it has these beautiful detailings and also these little holes I think this is such a beautiful and unique belt and I love to wear big belts like this down on my hips with mini skirts this is great for that kind of late 60s look Jane Birkin did it a lot and I just think it looks really cool I've had this belt forever I had this belt for so many years as you can see it's one of these belts that you can kind of twist and it's brown on one side black on the other it has a really cute little buckle i got this one at a thrift store for like two or three bucks i don't really recall it it actually says celine on here which makes me think that this might be a designer item i don't know anything about designer belts purses or anything maybe this one is a really expensive belt i don't know i just really like it speaking of belts i had forever i had this one when i was back in school and it's just a very classic kind of woven belt. I love the dark blue stripe that it has. It has beautiful little red leather work in the front and just a little clasp right here. These ones were really popular in the 60s with like a very classic kind of schoolgirl look and I honestly really like this one. Next up is this really cool dark red paisley one. This one was actually part of a dress that I have. You've probably seen me wear it before and I shortened that dress. So now I don't really like the look of wearing it with a belt. However, whenever you get a dress like this and it comes with a belt, make sure to keep the belt because the belt on its own is really cool. Love to wear this with like an all black look, kind of a black turtleneck, black mini skirt kind of look. This one is just such a fun and cool little accessory. I've talked about it before, but with hippie fashion, a lot of nature materials were really popular and one of the 
materials that was extremely popular for accessories was wood. And so I have this really cool wooden belt that is great for like a hippie look. You can just kind of tie it like this and then it sits more down on my hips. I really like it. I think it's a really interesting and cool piece. And it also makes some fun noises while you move. Next up is this really, really cool belt. I love the buckle. It's kind of really unique and beautiful. This one looks like it's a kind of... This one kind of has a snakeskin look to it and what I really love about this belt is that I actually have boots pretty much the same material. And this is a big tip I have for you. If you have boots that you like to wear a lot, try to look for belts with the same pattern, the same color, something like that because it really ties the look together if you have matching pieces and that was a big trend in the 60s. Moving on, I have this really cool super thick suede belt. This one has a really cute little clasp right here. This one is from the early 70s and there's not a lot to say about it. It's just a really classic piece and I love to wear this one. I think it's such a cute look. Moving on with another really interesting belt. I have this one also great for a hippie look. This one also reminds me a lot of Stevie Nicks because it kind of has these like bitchy details. As you can see it's a moon and the sun so so beautiful i got this one at a thrift store pretty recently it's a really heavy belt and i love to wear this one with like long flowy dresses and skirts i actually have some more chain belts one of them being this one this one might be my favorite chain belt just because it's so different and unique i love how it kind of alternates between the classic golden chain look and then these really cool little pieces as said, I really love to wear chain belts to kind of close them like this so you actually have like another little piece hanging down. And this one is probably one of my most worn belts. Speaking of most worn belts, this one has been with me through so, so much and I love it so, so much. This one is great for kind of like a Joan Jett, Sherry Curry kind of runaway rock star look. As you can see, it has these really cool silver stars attached to it. It's also like such a David Bowie kind of look has another really cool detail around the buckle and a really big buckle. It's also a pretty thick belt. And this one just takes an outfit and makes it so much cooler instantly. So this next belt might not be for everyone, but I really love it. As you can see, it kind of looks like this, has a lot of fringes and then really cool detailing right here. And you close it kind of like this. I actually like to wear this with shorts or like a really short skirt and then I wear it kind of like this even though I'm pretty sure technically you're supposed to wear it like this but I really like to wear it like this and it even kind of makes it look like a fringy suede mini skirt and this one just gives me such GTO vibes and I really love it. Speaking of really bold and cool belts this one comes with a really cool story as well. As you can see this one is so interesting. It has beautiful colorful stones, metalwork, and then kind of like this really cool look right here and then you close it like this. I saw this one at a flea market in Berlin and I immediately loved it, but I was like, oh, it's probably 30 euros or something. And so we kept walking around the flea market and then right before we left, I was like, I need to go up to this vendor and at least ask how much the belt is. And I asked the man how much the belt was. He looked at me and he was like, four euros. And I remember looking at him being like, four euros like are you sure and he's like okay i'll give it to you for three so i paid three euros for this and i was so shocked because i would have totally paid four euros i would have paid 10 euros so i'm really really glad that this one was such a steal this next one is so so beautiful it's this kind of embroidered flower belt however i'm kind of on the hunch with this one because it is pretty big on me and i'm thinking about turning this into a guitar strip what do you think? But I also kind of want to find a way to do it so that I can take it off the guitar and then also wear it as a belt. So if anyone has an idea for that, because I have to start figuring that out. So if you have any tips or tricks, leave a comment down below telling me because this one is such a unique piece. Speaking of unique pieces, this one hangs with my belts, even though technically it's not a belt. As you can see, it's this really cool kind of leather strip with heavy metal work done. This one is so, so heavy, even though it's such a short little strip. And basically what I like to do with this, and I know this is not for everyone, but I personally really like to do it, is to wear this around my thigh. So basically I'll just close it like this and then wear it around my thigh. Sometimes I'll add like another band kind of going from my underwear down here to make sure that it stays secure if I like wear this to a concert or something or I wear it a bit more down 
kind of like around where my boots end. I love this. I think it's such a cool and unique look. And it just really reminds me a lot of Anita Pallenberg and kind of the idea of anything can work however you want with fashion. There are no rules, just do what you want with it. Next up is another really classic 60s piece. It's this really classic white belt. It just has a really cute little white buckle. Got this one at a thrift store and as you can see, technically it only had holes till here, but it was way too big on me. So I added quite a few more because as said, sometimes I like to wear belts around my hips or around my waist and so I really like to have options with the holes. This one is great for like a classic patty boy look. It also works really, really well for like a schoolgirl kind of 60s look, a space age look or even like a factory girl style. Next up is this beautiful detailed leather belt. This one is really thin and small, which I love for layering. This one kind of reminds me a lot of Bridget Bardot and I don't really know why, but I think it is so beautiful and unique. Moving on with another really unique belt, this one. As you can see, it kind of has like shell details and then all of these little like metal parts and pearls. This one is so unique and beautiful as well. You just kind of tie it like this. And I feel like this belt adds a lot to every simple outfit. I actually have another shell belt, which is this one. As you can see, this one doesn't have like any fabric. It's just shells and pearls. Love this one too. Kind of has these little shells hanging at the end. And I feel like this one is also great for an eclectic look. Don't worry, we're almost through, so just bear with me. This belt is really cool because at first it's just a really simple belt, but then if you look closer, it has some really cool details right here. Also love the buckle, it's just a really big metal buckle. Honestly, there's not a lot to say about this one, but I really like it. It's a great staple piece. Speaking of staple pieces, this one is kind of boring, but it's also just a great basic piece to have. It's a classic black belt with a square buckle. There really isn't anything to say about it, but I really like to have some staple pieces to just style some classic looks with. I have two more chain belts. First being this really cool kind of bronzy one with beautiful blue details. I think this one is so unique and cool as well. And as said, I love these for layering. And then the final chain belt is this one, which is really cool because it kind of has differently shaped pieces to it. And what I really love about this one is the clasp because basically it has this circular thing and then this kind of sticky thing that you just put through and then it closes like this and it even has a little detail hanging down just like I love. Next up I have another belt with a really cool buckle. As said, when I go into thrift stores I kind of go to the belt and then I kind of search for really cool and interesting buckles. This belt has a beautiful blue detailed buckle and other than that it's just a really classic brown belt. As you can see it has some holes and some more blue details. Okay, so technically this isn't a belt but hear me out on this one. I love to wear necklaces as belts. For example, this one. Necklaces like this work really well for a layering look and then you kind of have the detail of this really cool big crystal thing kind of hanging down. I think it's so interesting. As said, I just like to be really creative with the things that I own and I would like to encourage you to do the same thing. Try your necklaces as belts, play around with your pieces and just have fun styling them. Next up is this really dainty small belt. This one is great for like a 60s mod look. Mary Quant had quite a few of these really, really tiny belts. As you can see, it's this vinyl leather look. And yeah, there's not a lot to say about this one other than I just really love it. Moving on, next up I have this beautiful little dainty golden one. This one is so cool and like great if you kind of want to add a pop of color or you kind of want to go for a space age look. I think this one even was in the kit section. So honestly with belts just check every section and then just try if it'll fit you because honestly even though this is a very skinny and small belt I love this one. Next up is another belt I had for such a long time now. It's this really classic vinyl snake detailed looking belt, which is also great for like a Debbie Harry kind of look. Has a square buckle, classic black belt, great for more of a rock look. We're almost at the end, three more belts to go. First one is this one that technically, I don't even know if it counts as a belt, but I love to wear these. This one basically just is a long strip of white suede leather and I really like to wear this. I just kind of like to tie it up or sometimes I'll add a brooch to it to kind of close it. I think it adds a lot to a look and what I really like about this one too is that it's a very versatile piece. I could also wear this as a scarf or tie it up in my hair 
or around my leg. So there's really no limits with this piece. Next up is this belt I also had for so many years. I think it actually was my great grandfather who shortened this one for me, but I don't really recall it. But I'm sure I had this one for 10 years or something. It is so beautiful and kind of really interesting. And I really like the color because I feel like this is a really classic color that just goes with a lot of looks. And last but not least is this really classic black belt. It has a circular buckle. As said, these were really popular with mod fashion. Mary Quant also designed a lot of belts with this kind of look. And I honestly feel like you can never go wrong with a belt like this. So yeah, that's it for today's video. These are all of my belts. Please make sure to leave a comment down below telling me which one is your favorite and also telling me about the best belt that you've ever found thrifting. You can also post them on Instagram and tag me or put them up in your stories and tag me or send them to me on Instagram. I try to read as many DMs and posts and notifications and mentions as possible. So yeah, I'd love to see all of the belts that you guys thrifted. If you enjoyed the video, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would mean a lot. If you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, like the makeup, the fashion, the pop culture, the people, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload multiple videos every single week all about that and I would love to have you around. I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys! Oh, 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 o